What is good guys? Just your favourite food review YouTuber. And no, this is not Danny from Rate My Takeaway. And no, this is not the bull foodie guy. This is Greg from The Demon's Food Den. Welcome aboard. Today we're going to get a little bit festive. I went into the shop today and I saw these. Turkey and stuffing flavoured crisps. So I thought I'd give them a try. Then I went round the corner and I saw these. Pigs in blankets crisps. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And then, best of all, I found these. Festive mini rum truffle cakes. Now these to me are nostalgic, if that's even a word. My nan used to make these when I was younger. I'm not sure if she used to put the rum in them though. But I just remember them. I've been looking for these for absolutely ages. I've been looking for them everywhere. So my nan used to make these as a kid and I absolutely loved them. So we're going to see if these live up to my nan's. Probably not. <laughs> you can't beat your nan's cooking, can you? So everything is festive when it's got pigs in blankets in the title or pigs in blankets in. I'm going to prove to you that a pig in a blanket is festive. Yeah, you can make anything festive at all. Watch this. Here you go, here's another pig in a blanket. <laughs> Look, it's made me festive. Pig in a blanket, you get it? Oink, oink, get rid of that. So we'll lay these packets down and we'll have a look at the nutritional values of them. Now we can see a lovely packaging, isn't it? Makes you, makes you all Christmassy, warm and Christmassy. Turkey and stuffing, a festive flavour. McKay's or McKay's of Scotland. They've got a nice little robin here. Hello, hello little fella. And the same in this one, here's the Robin, this must be his brother. Pigs in Blankets, Festive Flavours, Scotland. Gently cooked to perfection. There you go, that's a big claim, isn't it? We get 150 grams net weight. I think this one's the same. Yep, 150 grams net weight. And there's a little bit of a story here. James Taylor and Sally Taylor. So this is a family-run business. Turkey and stuffing flavoured crisps. They're made in Scotland. Handmade in Scotland, so... Just up the road, well just up the road, i say about 300 miles from me. Gives you the ingredients here, potatoes, sunflower oil, turkey stuffing, flavour, seasoning and all that, and that good uh, good malarkey. Allergen information may also contain wheat, barley, oats, gluten, milk, soya and mustard. They are suitable for vegetarians and vegans. And we can see that they have got a lot of calories in. This is a one fifth of a pack. Jesus Christ, these are unhealthy for you. But let's see if they taste nice. They've got a lot of fat in them as well. Not too much saturates, to be fair. Not too much sugars. They've got a bit of fibre in, which is good. Protein as well. Good, good, good. All good in the hood. So just because I'm feeling festive, I'm going to be wearing this blanket if it doesn't get in my way. I'm going to open the pigs in blankets first. Have you ever seen a pig in a blanket opening pigs in blankets? Eh... <laughs> uh, I'm not sure they smell of pigs in blankets. Right, they do smell a bit bacony, so. Um, try another one. To be honest, they just taste a bit bacony. They're a nice crunchy crisp. Um, to be honest, it's, it's just only the bacon that's coming through. So yeah, I can't really taste much flavouring on them. And the flavour that is coming through is just the bacon. Whether the flavouring is at the bottom of them, I'm not too sure. Let's dig deep and get one from the bottom. There ain't really much flavour to them. They don't taste the pigs in blankets. Both of these were only one pound each. These were also a pound. Thumbnail time. Thumbnail over. So that's the pigs in blankets tested. Now we're gonna try these. Turkey and stuffing. See if these taste any better, any more flavoursome. Oh, they got a. They smell a bit stronger. They smell a bit stuffy. Probably sage, is it? Not too sure what they taste of. Get one from the bottom. Oh, 
I don't really like them either, to be honest. Uh, again, there's not much flavour on them. The flavour that is coming through, I think it's probably sage, which is meant to be the stuffing. Definitely can't taste any turkey on them. Yeah, not too impressed with them either. Again, I'm disappointed. I'm expecting these to be nice. And they're fixing blanket ones as well. Saw them in the shop and my tummy started rumbling, as if to say, you best buy them. We're trying them. And I've waited a couple of hours to try them before I've recorded this video. And I've been looking forward to them ever since. And they just don't live up to the hype. Maybe I shouldn't get too hyped and excited to try foods because they always end up tasting disappointing. Now we're going to try these. I know for a fact these aren't going to be as good as what my nan used to make, but we'll try them anyway. Let's get disappointed again. Eh? <laughs> Bloody hell, I might get drunk eating these. Open it up and that rum whacks you in the face. Oh, straight away, these look a lot darker to the ones my nan used to make. She must have used milk chocolate. These are, I'm guessing, dark chocolate. Whew. If I start slurring my words, you know why. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't like rum, and these are these are covered in them. They've got an alcohol percentage on them. Let's have a look in the men. Two of them, and I won't be able to drive. Jesus Christ! No, they're a hundred times worse than the ones my nan made. Mini rum truffle cakes, coated in chocolate flavored whatever that is. Oh, they're nasty. If you, they're nasty. If you like rum. I'm guessing you're like these, but I don't. They've got a lot of fat in them, some protein. So we've got the ingredients here. It says rum truffle cakes coated in 20% chocolate flavored, whatever that is, uh, ingredients. It's got a load of E numbers in down here. You can see here, E2, whatever. So E numbers are no good for you. And it's got, this is why it tastes strong, Jamaican rum. You can see there, Jamaican rum. Strong, that stuff is. Uh, allergens, milk, wheat. Uh, they're all in bold if you want to pause it have a look but yeah that jamaican rum definitely comes through they were also a pound from b and i think it was or home and bargain one of the two they're both the same anyway aren't they so another disappointing one i was really looking forward to trying all of them all of them have disappointed me greatly those truffles though if you know anybody that likes rum they will absolutely love them especially if they like jamaican rum because it just tastes like you're eating rum would i be buying any of them again 100% no, not a chance, nada, nine, nish, uh-uh, niet, no. <laughs> if you did like that video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. If you didn't like it, then please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.